Yes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that whosoever cite this surah, it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feels very happy about that. And Allah has given too much honor to this surah. And Allah will give permission to intercede the reciter of the surah of the Day of Judgment to intercede for a lot of people. The Sallallahu said, Surah Yasin was in Torah, Torah, you know, but uh, not the incident, you know, in its own form, in a different version. It, uh, it was called Moimia, like, a, you know, Moimia means mystical or, you know, you know, something which is complicated. This surah reminds one the virtues and goodness of this world and the hereafter and the calamities of this world and all those ways by which one can avoid. Basically, it has it was sent down in Makkah to Bukarma. It has eighty three ayat or miraculous lines and five sections. Only one ruku, one ayah, one ayah is not Makkan, which is about you know Banu Salma who were living around Makkah to Madinah to Manawara and they wanted to shift to near the Masjid of Nabi and Rasulullah said you don't shift stay where you are because the more steps you take towards Masjid going to Masjid Allah keeps the record of each and every step you take so that is what is mentioned here as well Surah Yasin, if somebody, I will mention later on, you know, it is heart of Quran. And in this, there is one ayah, which is heart of Surah Yasin. That is beautiful ayah, which you will understand. I begin with, A'uz billah min shaitan rajim bismillah rahman rahim Yasin Wal Quran al Hakim In Galamin al Murasalin Ala Siratim Mustaqim Tanazil al Aziz al Rahim Litunda Kumma Unda Abahum Fahum Wafilun لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون. I have I explained to you. Allah subhanahu wa taala is swearing by Holy Quran. Yasin, O Sayyid, O Chief. Yasin صلى الله عليه وسلم is the name of Rasul Akram صلى الله عليه وسلم. Yasin, Taha, Mudassar, Muzammal. And Yasin. Wal Quran al Hakim. I swear by Holy Quran Hakim. Hikm. Hikm means the ultimate wisdom. In English, wisdom is no translation of Hikm. You, Hakim is a wise person according to the Holy Quran. In a Western culture, a wise person will, could be, you know, one of their philosophers, thinker, Bertrand Russell, you know, Khalil Gibran. No. Hakim is Hakim. Hakim is not a wise man, as depicted in the English or other languages. Hakim is the one who knows the secrets behind the creation of the things, their purpose. The Hakim knows the purpose of the creation. 
where as a wise man of most of the wise wise men of the west are atheists so quran al hakim allah said by that quran which in which is revealed the secrets and the knowledge of the creation not only creation but the creature the creator ya innaka lahu al-mursal indeed you are you know sent one mursalin and you are upon the right path and tanzil al-aziz ar-rahim this is sent down by the aziz ar-rahim so that you may warn those people whose forefathers were not warned indeed allah has completed the obligation upon them by sending amin nevai by sending rasul akram sallallahu but fa hum la yu'minun and they shall not believe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya rasulullah don't worry about this thing because those people who should say you nobody has sent any messenger no this was a come to us for, from isa al islam onward so when the messenger came they re- rejected him allah said that by his obligation he fulfilled the obligation and they rejected the messenger now therefore there is no sa- salvation for them inna ja'alna fi anaki maglal al fahiya ila al qani fa mukbahun they since they rejected knowingly the holy messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah Subhanahu punished them that he said inna ja'alna indeed ja'alna ja'al na we have put fi anakihim anak mean neck anakihim in their neck aglalan aglalan what mean by aglalan yoke yoke you know I have to be very careful that I make you understand yoke and fahiya il azqani fahum mukmahun and that is keeping their chins pushed up and they can't see down mukmahun mukmahun is in arabic expression for a situation where you can't look down sometime it is used for the camel who raises you know neck up and wouldn't bring it down for drinking water and then let's say that they have they, they put a yoke around their neck a punishment it is not a metallic yoke remember it is not a metallic yoke you should try it is similar to wa ja'alna min bayni aydihim saddan wa min khalfihim saddan wa ashayna fa hum la yubsirun wa sawal alayhim ma anzartahum wa lam tunzirhum la yubinun now wa ja'alna min bayni aydihim saddan wa min khalfihim saddan fa ashayna fa hum la yubsirun please try to understand the the background of this these ayat where allah says that we have made a wall a wall in front of them and behind them and have covered them from top and they cannot see waswaum alayhim wa anzartum am lam tunzir la yu'minun whether it is same to them whether you warn them or do not warn them they shall not believe now who are these people it is a general statement is different but the background is that abu jahal abu jahal and his two more companions they had decided that they have uh, patience have run out and they will murder the holy last messenger when he will be making salat in baitullah shri so one day rasulullah sallam 